。首先欢迎，谢谢各位参加今天今天我们的一个 SOC 领袖高峰论坛。那大家都知道 ，SOC 在整个 IC 设计里扮演一个非常重要的角色，那也是在台湾 IC 业界也会迈向一个高峰的一个很好的契机。可是呢 ，SOC 设计本身是环环相扣，缺一不可。如果说你是专注于或是运营面的环节，其实你的收集基本上讲是没办法，呃，把它做得非常完整。那我们今天很很很荣幸的邀请到业界，呃，从我们 IT， 还有就整个 IT 设计以及帮助 B B 做验证，到最后的应用端，还有整个人才培育，还有这业界的一些像医学系啊等等等。所以呢，希望通过他们的一些经验，那。把他们一些看法来各位跟各位分享。那按在这个，身为这个 IP 的这个，整个产业界的这个呃上这个上游厂商，我们觉得在整个整个 S O 设计环节上来讲，非非常啊、呃、非常重要。所以我们邀请到这些这些呃产业界的一些领袖呢，希望来各位分享他们的一些经验点的跟看法。啊、呃，我想。借由这个配合这个机会，那我们首先我们邀请到这个案的营运长 CEO q u e b r o w n q u e b r o w n 他本身是案的创始人之一，那他在业界有非常啊丰富的经验，那还有他对我们在整个半导体库，他基本上来讲也有一个深厚跟客群的两个非常深厚关系，所以他这个角色来讲，可以非常一个宏观的一个这个看法来分析整个 S O C 的底盘圈。所以这个，以你是个 CEO， 在他们 CEO 的角色，有各种非常。对全球 SOC 产业发展趋势的一个看法。Thank you. So the most obvious、uh, feature of this SOC market is that、uh, it is growing hugely, and I think、uh, we will hear later about probably the actual number of design starts may not be growing that fast. But what is clear is that the complexity going on inside these products is growing faster than、uh, many of us can、uh, imagine, and that is a challenge and an opportunity for us all. And so, while the complexity grows,、um, what we see is that it's not just about the SOC.、Uh, actually. Many of the products that are now using what we think of as SOCs are actually much more complex than that, and it's necessary not just to think about the actual chip, the SOC, but actually about the system in package, or also the total system, because very often inside these devices now you find there are more than one die within the package. Whether it is a stack logic plus memory or mixed signal or whatever, inside many of these devices we see an increasing trend to multiple die and therefore multiple complexity. And this is completely hidden. And in many ways, it is the uh, unsung uh, hero of, of our industry. What is happening in packaging and connectivity? But of course, that is only possible. Because all of the die within that package are using less power, or at least not increasing in power. So where we see very high power consumption, it's not possible to integrate and miniaturize these systems. And integration and miniaturization is essential for all of the devices that are、uh, so popular that we all want to buy.、Uh, cost, I think, I'm sure we'll come to later. There is an unprecedented、uh, pressure to bring down the cost of these systems and these packages, and that is very tough for most of us、uh, involved in creating those. But of course, it's great news for the consumer, and more importantly for us, it does enable、uh, bigger volumes within this market. So it's all about bringing the cost down, increasing the complexity, and actually, therefore. Increasing the volume, and finally, I'd like to say, of course, don't forget about software. It's very easy when we think about SOCs to think very much about the hardware, but these days there is more and more software embedded within the actual 
SOC in ROM or Flash, uh, but also within the system. And bringing those software systems to the market, I'm sure many of you will agree, is the biggest challenge uh, many of us face right now. Well, I think it's, uh, it's, as I said, it's a huge challenge to many of us. Uh, it's a huge challenge to enable this complexity and to bring out these chips on time and within the engineering budget. And it's a huge challenge to uh, get it right and not have to do mass revisions and so on. That's a huge challenge, but by and large people are rising to that challenge and finding ways of dealing with it. Um, but as I said, the, uh, it can actually be made easier and better if we concentrate more on standard platforms, if we concentrate more on reusing things that have already been built, that already exist, and um, then use software to differentiate between those different devices such that we can create completely different products with a minimum of hardware changes and hardware modifications. Because I think within this industry there are still lots of hardware engineers who think that to bring out a new product you need a new SOC, you need to make hardware changes. And those are so expensive and so difficult now. Uh, it's much better to think in terms of platforms to put in basic functionality and to use software to differentiate within the product. Well, of course you think I'm biased in, the, in, in answering this question, but uh, probably from what I said this morning, ARM is trying to enable exactly this through uh, bringing out higher performance, lower power processors, through enabling the ecosystem, uh, working with all of our partners all around us here, and uh, putting a significant effort into our software development tools and our uh, ESL, in, uh, system level design tools, and, uh, and so on. And so all of the different offerings or different activities that you see ARM doing are really aimed at helping or trying to help all of us bring out these designs more cheaply, more efficiently, and therefore more quickly. Uh,